Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host here. It is Team Rarai. Listeners, how are you doing? And this is gorgeous Monday's edition. I am doing very well for myself. Let's cut to the chase. And I will discuss for you, my listeners, wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now, if you don't do nothing like that, my listeners, maybe, just maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions in a certain manner. And there will be an article down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Let's freaking roll it. Now, last night was a WPW called Hell in a Cell. Do you guys watch it last night or not watch it last night? If you miss out, if you have the W Network, you can always rewatch it. That is a good thing about the freaking W Network. I remember off the record when you miss a W pay per view from back in the day, you gotta find out the next night raw or you gotta wait until it comes out on you know VHS, you know, tape version. You go into it, comes in the video store, and those were the good old days, you know. It's very hard to find um, pay per views back in the day. Now it's very easy because you got the network, and I don't think you can still buy that at Target or Best Buy or Walmart, but the covers are very, very cheap, you know. I don't know why, but I guess they don't put. No effort on the DVDs or DVDs covers, but whatever. But anyway, I recommend you to check out the Hell in a Cell. A lot of you have mixed emotions on last night's video. Other people love the card. I enjoy it, okay? But I'm not going to give you any review on it because this is not the review. I will discuss the review later on tonight or this evening. You will find out. Now, speaking of Hell in a Cell, once again... There's two W superstars got injured, okay? Last night at Hell in a Cell. First of all, Jeff freaking Hardy, Mr. Daredevil, Mr. Extreme. Wow, he fell right through a table and wow, that was very young. He posted hit Randy Orton, but Randy Orton um, missed his target. So that's all I gotta say. Hopefully he have a speed recovery. I will read this article very soon. Another person is is Dolph Ziggler, um, current tag team champion for the Raw brand. Um, he fell off the Hell in a Cell on the side of it, went through an announcement table. Of course, he got to have some big to close out the show, right? Sorry if I kind of spoil it for you. Okay, we issue the following update. On Dolph Ziggler and Jeff Hardy following Sunday, September 16, 2018. Yeah, we all know that we we know the date. Hell in a Cell pay view event in San Antonio, Texas, at the AT and T Center on W Network. Yes, we all know that already. Following the brutal uh, Hell in a Cell against Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy was you know get some help tensor by T M. T, I mean, uh, sorry, E M T at ringside. Kathy Kelly, Kathy Kelly, I think, then reported on Instagram that Hardy complained on several pain backstage, etc., etc. You guys gotta read it. You know, he's a risk taker. You know, I don't know why he took that kind of risk, but I guess though you wanna give him, a, you know, it's a big moment on last night's Hell in a Cell. My guess is he's gonna take some time. And recover and get back in action. Now I don't know if this is part of storyline or not. I don't know what to believe anymore. But it looked like he just was serious injury when he crashed and burned right through a darn table. Holy cow! Okay. Now about Dolph Ziggler after falling off the side of the Hell in a Cell structure during Roman Reigns Universal Championship match against Braun Strowman. Dolph Ziggler was looking at the medical person but refused, of course. Why do these wrestlers always gonna refuse? If they need help, get freaking help for crying out loud. To go to a local medical factor instead 
Ziggler left the AT&T Center under his own power, along with the tag team partner Drew McIntyre. Which, so what's your thoughts? I don't know why he didn't get help. I know it's a part of the storyline. You know, a very, very crazy ending of Hell in a Cell. One more thing is, before I close this out, what's your guys thought of Hell in a Cell being read? It reminds me of the TNA when they did it. I think they call it Lockdown. It, it just didn't feel right for the W um, factor. It just feel weird. Hopefully next Hell in a Cell, next year, they go back to original color is gray or silver. I don't know why they painted it. It's stupid, but whatever. It made something different. I don't know if anyone complained about that on social media. But like on Saturday night, I saw a live video from from WWE doing that construction. And I guess they painted it way in advance. So I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. I mean, it's okay, but I don't know. I prefer the original color gray or silver. I don't know the original colors of Hell and Cell, but I'll give you my full, um, my full review on this, but Jeff Hardy, have an experience recovery, and same thing for you, Dolph Ziggler, you guys, I'm guessing you guys have a lot of pain through you, you know, what happened last night, I don't know why Dolph Ziggler refused to get medical attention, stupid, you know, hurt, or not hurt, you should always, Get help, you know. I know you had a big spot, same thing with Jeff Hardy, but still, you know, even Randy Orton, I saw one of my friends named um, Lucas Starr, he sent me a photo of Randy Orton's uh, picture from Instagram while his whole back is all messed up. Holy cow! Well, he could always put like, um, probably, I don't know how he's gonna get that rid of them scars or bruises, probably. Go in a hot tub and relax, or how he ever does that. Or probably, um, I don't know how they do it. I don't want to say the wrong stuff, and people think I'm talking stupid. Anyway, probably go in a ice bath or something like that. You know, I know the football players do it to get all these attention, tension out of their body, or maybe they get a nice massage from a professional. Not too sure. But that wraps it up. I think, in my opinion, is a pretty good guard. A lot of you think it was garbage last night, but whatever. But once again, I'll give you my review on it later on today or this evening. But that's all I gotta say. It's a holy cow. And the ending was very, very bizarre. But that's all I gotta say. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe, and check out the article. Leave a comment with the article. And this is your host here, is sign off.